So burns, buybacks, and more burns is what we need as Terra Luna holders. Guys, do yourselves a favor and subscribe to this channel for more updates on Terra Luna going forward. And do me a favor and smash the like button so we can get this video out. Share it on Twitter. So jumping over to the screen, let's take a look at what's going on with Terra Luna. So this is Duquan's proposal. He is the head developer for Terra Luna. He is proposing a fork, a new blockchain. So the existing Terra will be known as Luna Classic, and the new chain will be known as Terra. The proposal also claims that investors in the ecosystem will be airdropped their allocation of 1 billion Luna. Now, just keep in mind that currently 90% of the community they put out a vote are not in favor of this fork, this creating a new blockchain. I'm not in favor of it either. I don't think that it's going to really help too many people that were into Terra Luna before the crash, and then certainly not the people that were post-crash. So let me just give you the breakdown here. So 35% will go to the Luna wallets from a pre-attack snapshot. 25% will then be sent to the community pool, which is controlled by a governance order. 25% will be sent to the UST holders during the time of launch of the new chain. There's going to be a launch snapshot to determine that. 10% will go to Luna holders at the launch snapshot. 4% will be allocated to essential developers and 1% will be guarded as an emergency allocation to the essential developers. Now, in case you're wondering, this proposal has not taken effect yet. It is being voted tomorrow, May 18th. Today's the 17th of May. Tomorrow, May 18th, the vote is going to be conducted and it's going to be voted on by the validators. Those are the people that are currently the developers, the projects that are currently on the Terra Luna blockchain as it exists now. They're the ones that are going to be allowed to vote on this. Now, in my opinion, what I think is going to help the most, and I think most would agree with me, is going to be a massive burn and also a buyback. Now, you might be wondering, why haven't they done any of these burns? Well, in my opinion, I think what they can't do is they can't come out and say they're going to be doing these burns. They have to kind of keep it a secret because if they come out and say that they're going to do burns, it's just going to make a massive spike up on the chart. There's going to be a lot of buys coming in. And I think what they want to do is keep it low key if they plan on going the burn route because they want to be able to acquire more Luna at a discount for as low as they can possibly do. So it'll make it easier for them to be able to afford to burn it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments section. I thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned tomorrow for another updated video on Luna. Take care, everyone.